Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are officially two weeks away from, well, not necessarily BLFC, but from leaving BLFC. And that is because there are a few things that have changed in regards to my transportation. So originally the plan was I was going to catch a ride um, to Chicago in order to make my train the day of. That was no longer an option. I had a problem. How am I supposed to get to Chicago to get on my train? That help came in the form of a little green dragon. Well, not a little green dragon, just a green dragon. Vulcanax, an old friend of mine. Um, you might have seen him on the channel before. I needed money to uh, pretty much go with my last resort option that I had, which was to get a Greyhound, um, like, a, like a bus, basically, down to Chicago, which I've had to do before. And my god, it's a long ride. <laughs> About eight or nine hours. And because of the very um, semi-rural area that I live in, there's only one bus that goes per day. Considering my, my train leaves at 2 p.m., I didn't really have a lot of choice. I'm essentially traveling out a day earlier now, which means I'm leaving on the 29th at like 1 p.m. I'm gonna get in Chicago at about 9 or 10 p.m. Pretty much gonna wait inside the bus station until about 5, 6 a.m., which I'm a little nervous because I've heard it's not a very good bus station, but you know, I'll, I'll, you live, I'll survive. And then I'm going to go to the train station as soon as I can because it's probably a much better place to be and less chaotic. I'm going to have to bank on getting an Uber early in the morning. That's going to be my only option. But it should work out just fine and hopefully no problems. From there, I have an entire day to kill until I get on my train. So I have going to be spending about 18 hours in between rides. I'm gonna be kind of on my own with a lot of time to kill. That combined with the fact that I'm getting on my bus, sorry not my bus, my train on the 30th and at around 2 p.m. and I'm gonna be arriving to the con on the 1st at like 7 in the morning. This is gonna be a pretty fucking long trip. I'm going to be spending as many days traveling as I'm actually going to be at the con. That is scary. Oh my god. I'm going to be bored. So bored. I'm probably going to download a lot of movies and probably bring the rest of the trilogy I bought. Last time I was at Megaplex, I think, or BLFC, um, when I bought the Conti trilogy, because I've only read the first book in the spinoff. Uh, I haven't finished the second two books, so I'm probably going to take those and read those. Honestly, just anything to kill time. I know once I'm in the train station and especially the bus stop, I'm not gonna be able to sleep. Like, I, I gotta watch my shit and make sure no one tries to take it. Two weeks away from the con though, um, I have managed to scrape together some spending money. I'm not gonna be like running on a shoestring like I already am because were it not for Vulcanax, Luna, and Kit, this trip would not be happening. I really wanted to make it this year. I didn't know how likely it was. Despite all of the crap that my life has kind of been, this is gonna be such a breath of fresh air. And I'm. it sucks that that's kind of the trend now, where it's like my life always around the conventions is kind of like in the dumps. But when I go to that con and it, it's so magical and it feels so fucking good. Um, just to be me, to meet up with my friends. Oh god, I haven't seen Luna in so long. Um, I'm just excited. I'm really, really, really excited. I'm gonna start packing soon. I am so unbelievably hyped and so unbelievably scared, but I know it's gonna be worth it. And I'm really, really hoping it's gonna be a, a smoother thing overall because there's a lot that can go wrong and hopefully it doesn't. Your boy is is coming. My good old man Plight. And I have all the badges, all the like everything from last year that I'm so excited to put back to some good use. So 
Expect to see Creepy Boy moving around. Maybe even a little at night. I don't know. I learned a lot from my conventions last year, and I'm going to try and budget my time and my energy as much as I can. Because there were some things that I really wanted to be able to spend more time with that I wasn't quite able to. Granted, it was my first time going to BLFC, and so I'm going to you know, have some foresight this time. Like, I want to go see the party floor. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I want to go see it. The pool rave, if that's a thing. I want to go do that. Plus, I managed to find a lot of my equipment. I got my tripod. Obviously, I got my phone. Holy fuck, don't break this time. I got my tablet, which I'm not going to be filming on. Don't worry. But um, I'm going to be bringing, like, just to kill time. I'm going to download a lot of stuff onto it. Um, I have my camera, which I am going to be bringing this time. Because I, you know, I figured, why not? I'm not going to spend forever taking, like, really complicated, fancy photos. But it's a really high-quality camera. And if I can just snap a quick photo of some fursuits, I mean, why not? I, I can always have fun editing them when I get home. Well, I'm not going to get a whole lot of use out of this. What I'm really excited is that I found my GoPro, which is very old. And as I've learned from trying to charge it, the battery is probably nearing the end of its life. For context, this is a GoPro Hero 3. This is a very old GoPro, like 2012. That's actually what I thought. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that's when I got it. So this is a 10-year-old camera slash GoPro um, that honestly, I probably wouldn't be still using if it weren't for two things. First off, I can mount it on stuff. I have a hand mount, a head mount. I can get a lot of work out of that um, doing things that I might not be able to uh, you know, record easily with my hand. But the part two, and this does tie in with part one, but... Part two, it's waterproof, which means permitting that the pool is actually open this year, which I swear I really, please let the pool be open underwater. Your boy can go swimming and you know, not be worried. And I've put this camera through its paces before. I can't tell you how many water slides I've taken it down. And while I know the GSR doesn't have any water slides, it's gonna be nice. Uh, not worrying, I, have, I don't have to bring my phone because I, mean, I want it for photos, but mostly it should be fine. And God, I just realized I am so excited to see the pool this year because it was all shut off last year. I don't remember what they were doing with it, if it was the season or they were cleaning it. But only the hot tubs were open. Hopefully that's going to change. Once I get to Reno, um, I know I have a ride that will take me to the thing. I'm going to be there like 7 in the morning on Wednesday. I'm going to be there really fucking early. And so, again, I'm going to have a lot, of t a lot of time to chill before the con. And that's going to make me feel a lot better. Also, I get to go to the Reg line early because good old Luna got me a premium sponsor. Oh, God, this is going to be such a great con. Two weeks away. It feels unreal. I'm going to have to start packing real soon. What I'm probably going to start doing right now is working on, like, getting stuff to do, like, digitally. Like, I, I want to download these movies. I want to download this stuff. I want to download X, Y, and Z. And... I can probably delete most of that while I'm at the con because I know I'm going to need a lot of space for footage and stuff. I mean, as beefy as this is, I might not run out of space. That's always a possibility. My tablet was difficult because it has very little space, but this beast, 64 gigabytes plus 32 in the back, I should be fine. As much footage as I plan on taking, I should be fine. And if I do have problems, I can always go with the try and true method hook up to the Wi-Fi, upload them to Google Drive, then delete them from my device. I don't want to leave this going too long. I don't have like a whole lot to comment on right now, but the con's approaching and I kind of wanted to, you know, just to keep this pre-series up. So I'll probably do one more a week from now and then maybe one the day, and then I'll probably start doing real filming the day before. And I don't think I mentioned this, but um, I'm having to keep up and get ahead of the game on school so it doesn't become a problem while I'm at the con because that could very quickly become a problem considering I'm in the middle of a class. The one thing I am desperately afraid of is the altitude. Altitude sickness. I remember being fuzzy as hell last time I was there. And considering I am way fuzzier now <laughs> than I felt up there, this could get out of hand real fast. It's something I was not expecting. So last time I was at the con, um, I went over to Walmart and I bought a bottle of whiskey. 
and I was not able to drink much of it because the altitude for the most part. As opposed to where I live now, alcohol is three times as strong on my system there. So, I took two shots in quick succession and I was kind of fucked up. <laughs> the good news is, is I don't have to walk nearly as far to get to my room this time. I still want to be careful. Definitely want to be careful. But what I wasn't expecting is Kit from last year. I knew I had to send my wine, my, my bottle of whiskey home with him because I couldn't bring it. It's open, it's open alcohol. I can't put that on a plane. He kept it, but he didn't drink it. He actually saved it for me, which I was not expecting. And I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll the play it safe this year. I'll probably buy like a pint of Fireball and just take it with me. He's like, don't. Why? I still have your whiskey from last year. Whoa. Okay, that's awesome. I know I won't finish it this year, and I don't think I can take it back with me. Be a lot of days of travel. If anybody um, lives in Chicago and wants to meet me up or hit me up, I'm gonna be uh, kind of like right in the middle of downtown, kind of like you know way far away, but not uh not not the I guess not the worst place to be. I don't know Chicago. What am I kidding? I got some shit to take care of and I should probably get to bed. I love every single one of you. This convention, you know, obviously I want to try to make it to a con every year, but this time it's been extremely difficult because I got, I lost my job not too long ago. B, I didn't have as much time to save up money for the con because it was only like, what, like seven months away. And three, all the savings I did have for the con, I, uh, I'm not going to go into detail, but let's say there was another situation I had to handle and I ended up spending all the money on that. Um, something very personal that ended up happening and um, kind of really important. So the, all my savings for the con just evaporated. And I, I can't express this enough. Like, last year, it was amazing, like, meeting so all these people for the first time, all these people I'm huge friends with. This year, it's kind of a different meeting, because while it's not the first time I'm meeting all these people, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be, well, I wouldn't be there. This wouldn't be possible were it not for them. I know I, I, I rambled on this so much last time, but that really, like, speaks volumes to me about not only how much, like, how good of friends they are, but just the community in general. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep you guys all night. I love every single one of you. This con is going to be amazing. Hopefully it can be as great in the video side as last year, but with better quality and more formats with, you know, some really good photos. And on top of that, uh, GoPro. A lot of fun. It's going to definitely be an adventure. God, I'm going to be going from the, the 29th to the 9th. If you don't know how long that is, 12 days. Well, 11, 12 if you include the ninth. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call it a night. I, lo I, I, I don't need to repeat this again. I hope to see you all either at the con or um, in the comment section of the con videos, wherever, you're, wherever I find you. That's it. Have a wonderful night. And stay safe out there.